Next up on Boring Gear Reviews, we have the ZVEX FX Distortron. <laughs> Big thanks to Zvex and Moss Distro for sending me the Distortron. So what we have here is a distortion pedal, which is kind of like a modified version of Zvex's box of rock distortion. This thing has like quintessential distortion sounds from like a dirty breakup to gorgeous mid gain to like almost fuzzy high gain. For controls, we have volume, which will control the overall output of the pedal while it's on. Next up, we have tone, and that'll be like your EQ, counterclockwise for less high end, clockwise for more high end. And lastly, we have drive, which will control the amount of distortion in the circuit. And then we have two toggle switches. The first one is a sub switch, and this is like a really good way to shape the EQ of the pedal, your guitar, your amp. So depending on how kind of dark or low end heavy or even flubby your setup is, this switch will really, really help you tighten things up and or, or clear them up as well. Then we have a gain switch, which will toggle between two distortion settings. So if you want a little extra push, a little extra grit and sizzle, you flip it in the high position. If you want a, a little less intensity, a little less kind of searingness, then you can put it in the low position, but both still get very high gain and do dirty breakup perfectly. For today's demo, I'm using my 2013 Gibson Les Paul Traditional, and this has Sunbear 59 PAF pickups. If you'd like to see a full demo of those Sunbear PAFs, click the link right here. And from there, we'll be going into my Universal Audio Apollo X6 and using the SoftTube JMP2203 amp plugin. Okay, in our first clip, we're gonna go for a low to mid gain distortion. So we're gonna have the volume at three, the tone at one or two, and the drive around 10 or 11. The sub switch will be in the one position and the gain in the low position. In the second half of the clip, we're gonna engage the Chase Bliss Audio Therme for some pitch sequencing. The tone we get here is something that I love. A dirty breakup is like seemingly very easy to do, but there are like really subtle nuances that for me kind of make or break it. And this one makes it all the way. It's it's gritty and warm, but very clear and articulate. And there's still, it doesn't get too like saggy or, or squishy. It stays very uh, punchy. So in the first half, I'm gonna be on the bridge pickup all out. So it'd be like just a great solid, very present and forward sounding. And again, I'm gonna use that, that word I haven't used in a little while, dry distortion, which is like a sound that I adore. As I dig in harder with my pick attack, the pedal responds accordingly, beautifully. And then um, in the second half, I'm gonna switch to the neck pickup and then that'll have the volume rolled back. So here you'll get a little bit of an idea of how it cleans up. Overall, this is like a bass sound that for me would like work in any context I'm doing. So enjoy. <laughs>
Okay, in this next clip, we're gonna max the volume, max the tone, and have the drive around two o'clock. We're gonna have the subs in the two position and the gain in the high setting. To start, we're gonna be on the neck pickup with the volume rolled back, so you hear how great it cleans up. And then when we switch to the bridge pickup and go full out, it gets so aggressive and bitey uh, in a way that I really, really bonded with strongly. So one thing I want, if I'm playing an, a, an aggressive sound, I still want clarity. So when it goes to the louder part and I'm digging into these big chords, it's kind of like, not complex is the wrong word, but like it's a big chord with a lot of notes in it and I'm picking fast and then I'm moving like the bass notes of the chords while I'm still hearing the high notes ring out. And that is something that not every distortion pedal can do. Sometimes you'll lose a lot of those details. With the Distortron, I did not have that issue. So while I'm digging into these big chords and fast picking, you'll hear these high notes ring out while I'm moving the bass notes. And it sounds awesome. You don't lose, it doesn't get flubby or it doesn't get lost. It's like a very clear, great sound. What you also notice is a really great kind of bite and almost like a, a gating or tearing in like the upper mids, really gorgeous sound. And for this last clip, we're gonna start with the Maris Mercury 7 for a big hall reverb. And that will be feeding into the Zvex Distortron. And in this clip, we're going super big. So we have the volume maxed, we're gonna have the tone rolled back to around 10, and the drive is maxed as well. Here, we're gonna have the subs in the three position and then the gain in the low position. What that gives us is a super thick, very full low end with a ton of distortion on top. But because we have it in the low setting, it doesn't feel overly aggressive it just feels huge i love the sound of distortion after reverb and some dirt pedals handle that better than others the zvex distortron does a outstanding job of dealing with reverb and making it distorted but still very kind of uh, musical and clear so this is kind of just like a huge thick very beefy and weighty kind of distortion tone there's not a lot to say other than just like it just sounds killer so enjoy Thank <laughs> you. 
And that's a wrap on the ZVEX FX Distortron. Kind of a surprise to nobody, this thing is outstanding. ZVEX is, you know, known for making awesome pedals. This is no exception. I was really pleasantly surprised. When I first got it, I had actually hooked it up on a, a, a live stream I was doing, and everybody was like, is that is that just coming from the Distortron? And it was, like all the distortion was coming from here. Um, I really, really dig this pedal. If you're looking for a rock solid distortion, easy to use, looks cool, feels like it's built like a tank, this is like a, a good thing to consider. So once again, thanks to ZVEX, thanks for Moss Distro, this thing is awesome. And that'll do it. Don't forget, we have a giveaway coming up. Once we hit 2,000 subscribers, we are very, very close. So subscribe, follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that. Uh, if you dig the content, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.